I don't read the Bible much these days, but before me and my Bible reading partner, you know, I had more than one. But um, I have read in the New Testament. I have read some in the Old. And the more I read, the more I see that God is in control. Some people may say, you know, like, I think some people think that Satan have so much power. I think some people think that witches, Satan, demons have so much power, and I don't see that. I don't see that. The more I read, it's like for Satan, demons, or whatever, if they want to do something, and I believe we see evidence in Job, I believe in a way they have to be allowed to do what they do. If you go to the Old Testament, God would punish and kill too some let me say it like this. God would punish the nation of Israel when they would turn their back against him. I believe this happened on many occasions, especially in the book of Judges. And if you read in some other places too, I believe, Much of the bad stuff was happening because the nation of Israel, if I, if I am saying this correctly, would turn their back against God as in serving idols and doing other wicked things. So to go back I don't think Satan have so much power. I don't think witches have so much power. No. I believe when you choose to be disobedient to God, it opens you up for attack. Even though I believe the righteous will have to go through some things and they may have to die for Christ, as some did, I believe, in the New Testament. But I truly believe God is in control. Stop having this thing about, there was a picture I seen and I guess it was trying to so, show Jesus like in an arm wrestle with Satan. It is not even like that, not even in the slightest. Satan does not really have power. I would even say it's like God has Satan on a leash. You know how you have a dog on a leash, right? like and you know you have control over that dog in that sense it's like i believe it's like god has satan on a leash leash if i am saying that right not even to where satan can even combat real good against god no way and if you read too, I may say something you may not agree with, but I believe too, 
God uses Satan, demons, stuff like that for his purposes. I believe he uses them to punish people. And you may say, Kevin, why do you say that? Read the Old Testament. Read the New Testament. You may say I am wrong about that, but I am telling you. Like the more I read, the more I see things more, more, and more. No way is it God versus Satan. Satan is not even like a worthy enemy or not even a threat to God. Not even a threat. I believe God uses Satan and demons to punish us and to try us, test us, as he did with Job. God allowed Satan to test Job, right? So I hope this makes sense. God is in control. I, I would say it like this. I see this whole life as a test. One big test where you get graded in multiple categories in life. I would probably say your attitude, patience, humility, charity, love, so on and so on. I believe that is what life is. And based upon your performance in this life, I believe it will determine where you go. And if you go to heaven, I believe your performance on this earth determines what rewards you will get in heaven. So see this life, you know, some people may suffer in this life and see no point to it. I believe there is great purpose in this life. If you see this life as God grading you and a determining factor in what you get into heaven, I believe this life makes more sense. Even though I may not be telling you everything what this life is about and for. So try to pass even though I don't pass every test, but try to pass as many tests that come your way. Let me stop here. God bless you.